Hey guys and welcome to the first episode of Patch Rundown. In this series I will look at the major changes in each patch and discuss what the changes mean. For this episode I will be talking about patch 4.14. Have fun. Hey guys and welcome. So in this series I will be going through 3 questions for every champion. First of all, is it a buff or is it a nerf? Then I'm going to be stating the changes of the particular champion or balancing things. And then I will tell you if it's still viable or if it's viable now and why. So the first champion in the series is going to be Gragas. He got a minor buff to his kit because his body slam now goes the full distance in the direction of Cass until it hits a target. So instead of going half of the distance when you click on half on the arrow, it will now travel the full distance. So this will make wall jumping easier and thus I will call it a buff. The next champion in this patch is going to be Cassidin. He got nerfed because his rift walk now takes 20 seconds to reset instead of 12 seconds. Now this reset means that if it resets it takes a normal amount of mana, but if it doesn't reset so within this 20 seconds and you use it again, it's going to be costing double the mana for Cassidin, but it's also going to be dealing double the damage. Now this didn't get used too quite often, but in team fights it definitely did, but if you want to escape for instance, then it's going to be de uh, costing a lot of mana and maybe you will get out of mana this time. So I will call this a nerf. Is Cassidin still viable? Yes, probably he is, <laughs> but he will get nerfed a little bit, so you won't see him th this often anymore, it's not going to be that easy anymore because he has to choose whether he wants to engage or not, because if he wants to escape it's going to cost a lot of mana. Next up is Kill. She is already very strong, but now she got a another buff for some reason, and we don't know why, because it is a bug, apparently. But it means that she will get 2.5 attack speed per level instead of 2.2 attack speed per level. Which is nice, so I would definitely call you guys to play kill right now because this is a bug and it will get fixed. So if you make use of it right now, you're probably gonna be OP. <laughs> is she viable? Yes. Use her now. Then the next one, which we all expected, was Kog'Maw. Now he got nerfed because he was simply too OP. In solo queue, he dominated the ladder, he got a significant higher win rate than he had before and they had to nerf it, and they did. So what they did was they nerfed his base movement speeds. Now 325 instead of 330, which was definitely necessary because he got way too much mobility with Triforce and Blade of Ruin King. So that's a nice nerf, I would say. I'm not sure if 5 movement speeds is gonna do the job. I think that will not really nerf him too much, but... It's something, so I'm happy with that. Then we have his E is Void Ooze, which got visual update. Also, really nice, has new particles, looks more gross. That's all what we want, right, when you play Cogmaw. And his ultimate, Living Artillery, got nerfed a little bit. It's gonna deal a little bit less damage. Uh, previously, it did 125% of your base attack damage. Now it's gonna be 100% of your base attack damage, so... That's a bonus, I think that was necessary because that poke was just too much sometimes. I'm, I'm really okay with this, uh, these chain. I, I think he's still viable, but he's not gonna be that OP anymore, so yeah. There's also another champion that had to be nerfed, and that is Maokai. He has shown to be really strong in the top lane, and he has to be taken down. And Riot decided, alright, let's nerf this. <laughs> it's simply too strong. So his W got nerfed, Twisted Advance. It previously did 15% max health damage when you use it on a max level. Now it's doing 13% max damage, so that's really nice. 2% less can actually mean a lot against those tanky champions. Then we have the ability route power ratio, which is also nerfed a little bit. 1% less than it was before. Great job, Riot. He definitely deserved it because Maokai was simply too strong. Then his ultimate now has a duration which it didn't have before. Now you can only execute it for 10 seconds and then it will run out. I think the change to your grade, I think he will still be viable because Maokai is really tanky and he does a lot of damage. So he's still one of those champions that you want to have in your team. He also has a lot of CC, so yeah. He is definitely still viable, but he got a little bit less strong, which is nice. Morgana's the next one in this patch and that's a nice one because she had to be nerfed. Her black shield now blocks less damage on the lower levels and it's about the same on the higher levels and her ultimate is dealing a whole lot of less damage. 
She did too much damage as a support, we all know that, because if you look at that damage dealt stats at the end of your game, you always see the Morgana being on the top for some reason, while she is a support. And that doesn't even make any sense. So, here you go, get this nerf and <laughs> be done with it. I think she's still viable, but she's gonna be a little bit less strong. That's it. Orianna also got nerfed this patch, which I absolutely did not expect, because I thought she was really bad and say she was just a good champion to play with on lane. But they saw that her auto attacks were a little bit too strong in the early game, which is probably right, because if you auto attack a lot, then you're probably just gonna win the lane. So what they did was they nerfed base attack damage from Orianna from 47 to 41, which is 6 less, which is actually a significant number, which I didn't expect. But it's a lot. Um, I think she's still viable. She's just going to be dealing a little bit less damage with AD. So you're going to be needing a lot more AP to deal the damage with your auto attacks, which is fine. Uh, she's still viable, but you're going to be having a weaker early game. Rengar is the next one to get the nerve hammer, because his ultimate now has longer cooldowns on his early levels. This means that he will not be able to send next to you every time you get to lane, which is a deserved nerf. Along with that, they also added more range to the warning indicator. You will know when he is around sooner now. Is he still viable? I honestly don't think so. The main reason he was so strong was because of his ultimate, and that got nerfed hard this patch. So we will see in game. Syndra got a bug fix, with which he will not be happy. Her ultimate can now be dodged by skills that make their champions untargetable. This is definitely a nerf to Syndra, but if you know how to play with this change, it won't be a huge problem. She is still viable. Thrush finally got a bug fix for that flay. Previously it was not a reliable skill because it sometimes didn't knock them back. With this change, his flay will become more reliable and he will actually knock people back. Xerath has been changed to have a fixed cooldown between his ultimate charges. Previously, he would reduce that cooldown with cooldown reduction, but apparently that was making it too easy to hit the skill shot. Now, it will become a dodgeable skill. At last but not least, Zed. He got buffed because his ultimate will now make him feel more like an assassin. It dashes Zed behind his target on usage, and when his mark is active, he will ignore unit collision. And that was it for this episode of Patch Rundown. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comment section below and I hope to see you all at my next video.